I'm Cold Stevens from Horseshoe Firearms, and today we're back with another video about the Stag 15 Covenant Rifle in 6mm ARC. So we're going to dive right into it. We'll do an unboxing first, go over the features, and tell you how to think about this rifle. We've got it here, new inbox from Stag Arms, as you can see there, upside down. Let's see what we got here. We have the loaded chamber indicator here that already came out of the gun. Ships with it in there, I already took that out. We have a gun lock here, as required by law. We have, this is an extended um, piece for the Magpul PRS stock. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but they do give you two different pieces here. Um, this is the extra. It's got the one that they ship with it from the factory in it right now. This is your 10 round magazine right here. This is made by ASC Ammunition Storage Components. Um, 10 round, six millimeter, six millimeter arc I'm presuming. Stainless steel, black Marlou, bread follower, new in package. And yes, it does have a red follower. And then, that's all the extras which I'll talk a moment about. There's no manual in this box, I discovered. I showed this off to a customer of ours, and he was uh, quite shocked to see there's no manual in here. We did discover there is one on the website. If you just type in Stag Arm Stag 15 manual in the Google, you'll find it. Uh, but it's just a blanket manual for the AR-15. It's not for this particular gun, the six millimeter arc, or the Covenant line of rifles. So that's important to note. No manual in here. But here is the rifle. As you can see, this is a long one. This is an 18 inch, um, six millimeter arc. This is a standard platform, meaning not AR-10. This is an AR-15. Um, so it takes any standard magazine well, um, magazine as well as any standard cartridge. The 6mm arc being derived from the 6.5 Grendel, um, they actually share the same bolt head, same bolt carrier group, anything like that. It's all the same. Um, the barrel is different. It takes the same 6.5 Grendel magazine. The 6mm arc magazine in here being um, marked on it specifically for the 6mm ARC cartridge as opposed to being a Grendel. Now, you can use just straight out of the box 6.5 Grendel or 7.62x39 AR magazines in here. This being a standard Magwell AR-15, they all interchange. Um, you're just really looking for the follower and the curve of that um, magazine to be correct for the Grendel or the 6mm ARC ARC. So we'll go over the features. Um, this is the, if you're not familiar with the six millimeter arc cartridge, this is the middle ground between a 5.56 and a 308 AR-10. So this is a lightweight relatively, it's not very lightweight, but it's lighter than an AR-10 um, rifle here. The 5.56 increasingly like in Afghanistan was a shorter range, less powerful cartridge than they needed. They looked at the 6.8 Special that kind of came and went. Um, the 6mm arc is a little bit smaller than that. The 6.8 Special being a 270 diameter bullet, this being a 243. So a little bit less width, um, higher ballistic coefficient, the 243 bullet is. This is a little bit thinner of a, a projectile, um, longer distance, flatter trajectory, less width, so less payload, a um, little bit less energy, more penetration. Um, it's really a competitor to the 308 is the best way to think about it. It's a standard frame 308, but it's a 243. So it's about an 800 yard to 1000 yard cartridge um, in a AR-15 size package. Um, Something that is not achievable with something like a 300 Blackout. 300 Blackout is like a two, 300 yard cartridge at the max, um, even with the supersonic cartridges. Um, standard AR-15, four to 500 yard max. Um, and even at those distances, you're really not getting the energy that you need. Now, something like this, 
you have the 762 by 39 6.5 grand doll parent case so you have a lot more powder behind it um, 243 diameter bullet so wider than a 556 and smaller than a 270 243 very very far distance cartridge packed into a smaller cartridge frame the 6.5 grendel case so there's a lot of technology baked into this gun a lot of engineers at hornaday really worked on this cartridge and they say right on their website that they took feedback from the special operations community to develop this round in particular the six millimeter advanced rifle cartridge for the needs of the modern warfighter and this is a very effective platform to deliver that six millimeter arc cartridge um, so let's go over the features. Um, this is a 416R stainless steel barrel, and you can see right here, through here, it will display, it's marked right there on the barrel, 416R stainless steel. This is a 1.7 twist rate, and a 5 8 by 24 thread, which is important if you want to attach any accessories. Um, 1 7 twist, that's pretty optimal for the range of projectiles that Hornaday offers for this cartridge. Um, gives you a lot of versatility there. Another thing about this barrel that's very important from Stag Arms in particular is they have an infinite shot barrel guarantee. So if you shoot this barrel enough to cause damage to your rifling, which you're talking thousands of rounds, they will replace it for you for free at no extra cost, um, which is a very good perk of this rifle. That's a reason why you would want a factory built gun over cobbling together your own 6mm ARC rifle. Um, that is a huge benefit because if you just make your gun, especially if you get a carbon fiber barrel, you shoot it out, you're done. But you buy a rifle from Stag Arms and they'll replace it for you if you happen to shoot that many rounds through it. They'll replace it for you, which is very good. That being said, I have a hard time thinking that a lot of the commercial customers that they're offering this to will shoot thousands and thousands of six million your arc at like $3 a round. So that is a consideration. But should you need it, they provide it. That's a good thing to know. Uh, moving on, this muzzle brake on here, if we can show it here, this is the, which it even says right there, this is the VG6 Gamma 6.5 muzzle brake, so like I was saying, 5 8 by 24 um, thread pattern on this gun, this barrel. Any 6.5 diameter accessory will work, and that's case in point here. This is the VG6 Gamma 6.5, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 Grendel. Muzzle brake here on a 243, the 6mm ARC. Um, so they are, are fully compatible. This is the same thing here. Moving on, this is a M-Lock free-floated rail here, this full length here, 16.5-inch. Um, with the low profile gas block that you can see underneath here, right here, rifle length gas. So it's not gonna recoil very much. They've engineered it to be as little recoil as possible with this rifle. Um, the next thing is the Magpul PRS stock. So whenever I was doing the unboxing a little bit earlier, this piece right here is what they're talking about. You can change this out. I believe the one that they have in the box is shorter. This should be the longer one. And this, as you can see right here, is a very long length of pull here already. So you can shorten this up a little bit, make it a little bit more standard. Um, the other thing about this Magpul PRS stock is it's very highly adjustable. So you have a rising comb height here that's accessed by this. If you can see it, this knob, and you have adjustable length of pull this way. So this comes out. That's this one here. Um, you also have QD slot right here. You have a QD slot on the right side right here on your PRS stock. Now the other thing to note on this gun is this is the right-handed model. 
Staggard's being known as one of the few companies that make left-handed rifles. They do offer this in a left-handed rifle configuration of various lengths. So if you're a left-handed shooter, definitely look into them as they do offer this compatible for your left-handedness, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, moving on, the next thing is this is an overall length of 37.7. I'm assuming that's full length here with this longer piece here on the Magpul PRS stock. If you shorten it up, it may be slightly shorter, probably not much, less than an inch would be my guess. Ships with the one 10 round ASC mag as I showed you. Um, it is fully compatible with all the other Grandol or 762 by 39 AR magazines, not the AK. And the, uh, the last thing on my sheet here is this trigger guard here is aluminum. See, it's, it's pretty sturdy. It's not milled into it as it is a separate piece. It's oversized. So if you're out there operating with a gloved hand, you can still access it. It's got a good oversized um, trigger guard here to where you can use that. And that is all of the features. Um, that is the Stag 15 Covenant. Very interesting rifle. I'm interested to see where um, the 600 ARC cartridge goes. I think it's a lot better than the 224 Valkyrie that came out, um, that being derived from a 6.8 Special cartridge. Um, 6.8 Special and the 224 Valkyrie kind of fizzled out. There's not a whole lot of compatibility or um, the cartridge has not really gone anywhere since then, um, several years back. But Grendel is very popular, 762 by 39 in the AR platform is popular, and now the 6 mm Advanced Rifle cartridge is very popular. So I, I see this one taken off. This should be a good one. Um, Hornaday, as far as I know right now, is the only one that makes the cartridges. I know that they have the ELD match, ELDM um, cartridges available, the white box Hornaday. They also have the black box ELD Hunter available for this um, if you want to take it out in the field. Um, they also, which you can't really buy, they have the Hornaday TAP um, Urban. If you're law enforcement and interested in this rifle, you can get those. Um, very hard to get. I don't know how you get your hands on that. I'm imagining you get that from a law enforcement distributor, but just regular commercial customers cannot buy that, as I've been told. Um, so that's very difficult. That's really the only tactical cartridge they offer. I guess you could use the, the Hunter, the LDX Hunter, in place of that for a defensive cartridge, um, but you can't buy the TAP Urbans for this at this point. Maybe that will change in the future, probably not with the TAP, but somebody else, not Hornaday, or maybe Hornaday will offer like Hornaday Black series um, of defense defensive cartridges for this um, chambering. So that's all I have for you today. Um, very excellent rifle, very happy with it. Um, if you like the 6 mm ARC cartridge, this is a fine rifle and it will serve you very well. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.